Exposing yourself to germs is the best way to make yourself stronger. So by that rationale, if I had to sneeze, I should just sneeze on you. Yes, I would welcome it. <laughs> You're welcome. Today, we are gonna be using recurrent neural networks to create a Dwight Schrute quote generator. That means that we're gonna be creating new Dwight Schrute quotes. Before I get into the meat of the video, 86% of you guys who watch the videos are not subscribed. So, don't be an idiot. And subscribe down below. Before we can actually create new Dwight iconic quotes, we have to step back and ask two questions. How do LSTMs work and how can we use them? We can actually use an analogy to describe how LSTMs work. So, let's say you're watching a basketball game with your best friend and you love watching basketball, but your friend is a little bit more casual and he's betting on the game. He just cares about who is winning or losing at a certain point in the game and at the end. So our input are the plays of the game, the TV. So the plays, you're receiving the plays of the game from the TV as you're watching. And as we progress through the game, you add more and more plays to your memory. Your strategy is to tell your friend about the plays that are relevant to him and to look at each play and evaluate whether that play is valuable to the outcome of the game. Is it really important? And then, if it matters to your friend, you pass it on to your friend and tell him what's going on. And if it's not a relevant play, you forget the play and move on to the next one. So how does this relate to generating text, specifically generating original Dwight Schrute quotes? Okay, so given text data, Dwight quotes, we can determine when generating new quotes, what words and sentence structures will add value to the current quote, therefore predicting the new quote word by word. So with every project I make on YouTube, I always get the question, where's the GitHub, where's the GitHub, where's the GitHub? So today I had really fun making this step-by-step -step tutorial with Google Colab where I put in images, broke down code, one, uh, you know, line by line. So if you guys wanna check out uh, the Google Colab, it's down in the description and it breaks down every line of code so you can understand what's actually going on and how these Dwight Schrute quotes are generated. But for now, let's get right into the results. Alright All right, guys, so take a look at this. After five iterations of training, it's clear that this model has very little experience creating quotes. You see, the text is generating, it's not comprehensible, no sentences, no real word structure. All the observations I made lead to the idea that it needs more training. And so after four hours of training and at about 125 epochs, these are the main quotes that we got that were formatted correctly. Now, while this did take a long, long time to train, I'm really satisfied with the results. I mean, look at these quotes. They're clear, they're intelligible, they're relevant to what Dwight would actually say in the office. I'm really proud of this. And I really hope you guys actually try implementing this on your own with different famous TV characters, movie characters, celebrities. Just have fun with it. Use the GitHub to branch off, make your own versions, and definitely update me on what you do with this code structure down below in the comments. Thank you guys for all of your support you've been giving me lately. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.